Well, I actually managed, as I made a video the other night, to custom install an XFCE desktop, basically designing my own Linux based off of a 14.04 Ubuntu, minimal CD install, which uh, I'm going to leave a link to an article that tells you where to get the ISO for that and can and says generally how to do the install up to a certain point although the article then uh, tries to give you more than what you need and tries to give you basically the entire gnome desktop pretty much which that's not doesn't seem like that would be what you'd want to do if you were to go through all the trouble of customizing anything you would just go get the gnome ISO. The reason I used Ubuntu is because, well, first of all, that was what was in the article. But second of all, I knew that was what was going to be the easiest. A lot of people talk about Arch as being customizable, and uh, that's true. But that's like a whole different learning curve. And um, most people who do Linux generally, I would say most of the time come from, uh, I could be wrong, but come from the, the background of Ubuntu and Debian base uh, systems first just because Ubuntu Linux Mint are the easiest and so that's that's why I did that because it was the easiest to work with so it looks very much like Zubuntu but not really exactly and um, that's because Zubuntu is XFCE um, and you can see the icons are very simple the, the called tango icons um, and just to sort of show, I don't have a lot of applications installed yet. I haven't got, in fact, Office. I have almost nothing for, for Office as of yet. A dictionary, a calendar, and, and time. And I don't know if I'm going to have a lot because that's not what I intend to use this for. I tend to do more multimedia things, maybe a little bit of graphics. And that you, so, so you see, this is what the benefit of this is. You can install the software that you want to install rather than be stuck with whatever they stick you with. And, and, and I don't like having uh, Zubuntu insist on me having to have Abbey Word. And if I take Abbey Word out, if I uninstall it, then it seems to affect other, it, everything seems to be relying on everything else. In these in these operating systems dependencies and such is what I'm talking about anyway to get to the point and to make this a little bit shorter the way to do this is you follow the directions in the link I'm gonna attempt to leave in the description uh, it's simply you go through the install process of a mini ISO uh, CD uh, install uh, base install and then you get to a certain point and you basically um, choose. The point is where you can choose the software. And this is all in the description in the uh, article I'm going to post. And instead of choosing a desktop, let's say, you go to the very bottom of the list and you choose manage your own software. Then you go through the rest of your, um, the rest of your installation Boot into your new desktop, uh, but make sure you hit Alt F1. Um, and um, then basically, uh, that's where you can start um, choosing your software. Disclaimer, I'm not saying this is a how-to. I'm saying this is what worked for me. And it might not work for anybody else. I don't know. Uh, but it did work for me. So basically the package that you need, the main package, uh, is just XFCE4. So it would be sudo apt-get install XFCE4. And that's the most, most of the work. Make sure that you have something called XDM. That's basically the login screen. The login, uh, so you can get to login in a graphical environment of a login. It'll look very much different from uh, Zubuntu or anything else. It's very simple. And uh, make sure that you uh, do things like install Synaptic ahead of time just so you can get software 
and make sure you install a browser ahead of time just in case you have any problems and you have to go online and look to solve the, the problems. After that, you should have, I can't make any promises, uh, an, S, an XFCE in my case, uh, if that's what you, you chose. Uh, the other packages you could choose are the GDM uh, GNOME Core and GDM Settings Manager, and he goes over that in the article. And in any of the desktops, if you find the package, just look up what the package is for the desktop, not the actual Lubuntu or what have you, but the actual LXDE, I guess it is, whatever the official name of that, whatever it is in the repository would be. And, and, and in this case, XFCE4 is the official name of, of the desktop. Plus, you have to have a few other things. Might be a good thing to add a terminal up front just in case as well. It's always good to be able to have a terminal in case something's messed up and then you can at least have access to that and, and, get, um, <clears throat> and get software or fix things. So you can see it's very basic. And that's pretty much all I have to say about it right now.